to say that I'm not at all amused by the fact that while recording a video about power, I lose power. So let's just go ahead and talk about how that's not funny. No, it's actually pretty funny. It's it's perfect comedic timing. I couldn't have timed it any better, honestly. I'm a little annoyed still. Um, this is like the fifth power outage in two days. I'm just going to check to see here. Bear with me. If the prior recording is at all salvageable. So bear with me while I... Do some diagnostics. I just want to try to import this into Vegas and somehow I don't think that it is not been error occurred. Okay, so the previous description of what I did I will recap as I was laying down power. Uh, let me get back on the moth and we'll act as if nothing happened. Yes. So I started a garden on the roof, as you can see, and I put down some pipe, a flexible pipe, and connect it, connected it all the way down to the water source which is way over here. This wasn't very much stone. Maybe it was maybe 150 pieces of pipe, which is, I mean, stone's really easy to get here. So all the way down to the water's edge and where I've got my pipes. It's, it's feeding water up to my base. And the reason why I wanted to use irrigation instead of just relying on the uh, water node in the well that I have. The well only holds a thousand units of water and each crop plot holds 600. So it's going to be very hard to keep the crops properly watered and irrigated because I thought originally I would be able to connect these water tanks to the well and have some kind of a supplemental backup. It is not the case. They did not fill. They were not considered to be in a water line. Only when I connected it to the water source down over there with the intake valve did they actually start irrigating. But now I've got unlimited water and I've started growing some crops here. I've got the four basic fruit crops and I planted a narco berry, which is now a seedling so that I can uh, start getting some of the higher kibbles and such crafted. With the vegetables, you can also end up crafting the uh, bug repellent. There's a couple other things that require vegetables. I also went and got, while I was flying around, flying around I saw a high level dung beetle, which I have picked up and tamed and named after the worst person I've ever met, Tazar. So, enjoy eating poop. So where I was in the middle of was laying down electric cable when my electricity went out. I'm just going to continue that here. I'm really annoyed that it didn't save any of that. The file was absolutely corrupted, so which when your power is starting to go and you have to choose between quickly powering down safely your PC or stopping your recording. And for some reason, my universal power supply or my backup power supply, it kicked in but only for about 30 seconds um, before everything shut off. So I was able to quickly alt-tab out of arc and just in, in force a shutdown. And I was able to shut down technically oh. properly. 
So anyway, I am going to not do that. We're going to put down a couple of these things here and I'm kind of putting them close to the ground or in the ground because I really just, I don't want to look at it. I'm going to end up putting some fridges over here. I will get at least two. And that'll be good enough for now. And then what I'm going to do is that goes in you bird can move. What we do is we put down the electric outlet, which requires a regular junction. And unfortunately, this being Arky, it's not going to show me it in the foundation. So I think this stuff is kind of annoying. Can I maybe fake it? I don't know if I'm going to, I'm not going to be able to pick that up. So you know what? I'm just going to fake it. I'm going to, perfect. And then I'm going to lay the, I'm going to connect the cable like so. And you see it's got power now. It's glowing. Because I built this, I built a hut out here, a little stone hut, to store my generator. Now the generator makes sound. I know that there are mods which give you quiet generators. Also generators that don't decay on scorched earth, but I kind of like this aspect of it. So I'll have to repair it daily, which isn't really an issue because electronics and metal are plentiful because we've got tech creatures. But one thing I want to do right now here, see, can I make a fridge? I need crystal ingot and polymer. I don't have any polymer yet. I do have plenty of crystal. And I do have plenty of ingots. Okay, so we want how much I can spell. I'm a professional speller. Bridge. Uh, I, I need at least 30 polymer because I want to build two. But we're going to go get more than that and let me show you my favorite way to get polymer and scorched earth. Now in the island, you were able to get very good polymer from using a club on the penguins which is brutal because they are passive and cute and adorable and they also provide heat they provide uh, radiating warmth around what time is it here how much time did i waste I have a whole morning so what I'm going to do is, and I realize I forgot my Traboa, so hopefully this is going to be a nice, uh, I don't want to knock on wood and jinx myself, but we're going to knock on wood and say that it's going to be nice clear weather all the way to the dunes. Just when the inevitable electric storm hits, right? We're going out to the dunes because I want to go after some praying mantis. Mantis in Scorched Earth are going to be the most excellent source for polymer. It's going to be organic polymer. Now, organic polymer has a spoil timer on it, which cannot be extended in a fridge, cannot be extended in a preserving bin, and cannot be extended with preserving salt. So it's a use it or lose it type of resource. I generally will go to get um, 
organic polymer when I'm specifically building something out of polymer. Because I don't... I don't want to have a bunch of it and have it all spoil and just like waste it. It takes up space that it doesn't need to. We're going to the edge here. And this whole spot out here is full of bugs. All out in the dunes, scorpions and arthropleura. There's lots of vultures and there's lots of bugs. There's also death worms, but we won't really have to deal with them. There's also great item drops. God, I'm done. I need, I need to bring water with me. Well, this is going to be just a short trip. So we've got the two, two mantises here, which I'm going to... Can I pick them up? I don't think we can pick them up anymore. I don't think we can. Which is unfortunate. Okay. Oh. You know what? I'll kill them the old-fashioned way. Now they do ridiculous damage. If I can't pick them up anymore, that's going to be... not fun. I can still pick up a scorpion. I just want to check this real quick. Can I get it and go? Garbage, 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 garbage. Marilla Top Saddle, which I will use if I ever get a Marilla Tops. I'm gonna head back home now. I'll see you at home and we'll make our fridges. All right, so we're home. I'm gonna take the bits and pieces out of here and I'm gonna go ahead and put these into our fabricator. Put that in there. And bridge. I do need some gas because the fabricator is gas powered. Turn it on and make. Oh, I'll get more metal so I can make two because I want two fridges. Really? You do this to me? You make me work for it? So, make two fridges. While that's going, I gotta put this stuff away. Not that. That we're saving for later. I'm gonna put that in with my blue printed items. Okay, two fridges. And now this, unless I specifically make something with these, they're just going to rot away. So, I might as well look through anything that I could potentially make I would need that. I don't have angler gel. I don't even think there's anglers on this map because there's not really water. Don't need hazard. Can't do the attachment. I could make some more canteens. I could make two more canteens if I have paste. I have that, I have that. I really just don't want to waste it, you know? Okay, so this is my seed vault. I'm gonna pick you up. I got a storage box. And this is food. This is gonna be troublesome because I'm gonna bring my pup over here. Can you get in? Get in, you okay? Okay, you can get in here. So we are going to store the majority of this 
on our Anodon. He's going to store that for us, or she, apologies. While we sort. I know you don't want rotten meat, but you're going to get some rotten meat for now. Can I? Nope, not yet. Can I move yet? Almost. Okay, that's all that, that's all that she can do, but that's good enough for now. So, I'm going to pick up the preserving bin, because we're going to move that and turn it just into a jerky machine. And I am going to... I know a storm's coming. I am going to just put down these fridges, which are now powered. Oh, I'm so happy to have some power. Sadly, they don't snap. Good enough for who it's for, as my grandmother always used to say. Okay, put everything away. And the spoil timer in the fridge versus the spoil timer in uh, the preserving bin, it is much higher ratio, ratio of storage. Things will last a lot longer in the fridge, as long as the fridge has power, that is. Which is why I'm going to have to make sure to maintain the power daily. And then... The rest of this stuff we'll put in... I'll store this in here for now until I find something better to do with it. And put the eggs back. Okay. So, bring, bring me Pupper back in here. Where you can get, you know, stuck in the ceiling on top of a door. You know, just dog things. What are you doing, dog? Oh, I was just hanging out on top of a door. You're, you're a good girl. Yep, yeah, you're a good girl. You're the goodest girl, Bailey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Loud, loud, loud. Scream, scream, scream. Now, I have good storage for my fruit and veggies. I'm gonna put this guy back in here. Put my seed vault. Oh, it's a thunderstorm. It's been a day of thunderstorms. It's mostly what I've been getting here for the last several storms that I've experienced. They've been they've been thunderstorms. So and I usually stay inside because I do not personally want to deal with the I can leave those in there for now. I do not personally want to deal with the lightning effects. Because it is very stroby and I don't like that. It's a headache, so I usually stay indoors. But I have some paste now, and I'm going to use the remainder of the paste, the remainder of the polymer. Let me look at a lamp and see if a lamp requires polymer. It does not. So we're going to put one, two of these, an indoor and an outdoor. I want you to be out there with get some hide. Close that door. Okay. Two bonus canteens are going to be there for use later. I am going to wait here for the storm to end, and then I'm going to place the lights and we're going to call it a day. So I'll see you in a moment. Alright, and the storm is done, everyone's okay, 
and I am going to place a couple lamps here so that I have some indoor power. And what the lamps are going to do, they automatically tether to the nearest electrical outlet. See, it shows power, and you can turn it on. It doesn't show much different here inside, but it's on. And then I want to put Because the I want to put a security light here. Okay, it's gonna light up the yard. At night. See how it tethered a electric wire. In fact, I want to see maybe if I can kind of hide it. Put it on the ground. Can. can I put it up there? I'm sure I can. Oh, those are going to have to be fixed. Can't have my butt showing out the back. That's embarrassing. That's much worse. I'll figure that out. I'll, I'll put it somewhere later, and I'll figure out the fridge. I'm uh, kind of grumpy right now because I lost like 45 minutes of footage um, due to a power outage. Again, perfect comedic timing. Perfect comedic timing during a video about power to lose power. And I also have my battery backup only stay up for 30 seconds. It's just, I mean, I can't, I can't plan it. That is a sign from the heavens that today was supposed to be about power. So hopefully, amidst all of these problems, I've kind of shown you poorly today, I admit. Uh, a little bit about gardening, water, and scorched earth, and power and scorched earth. And I wanted to see maybe if we can if we can check in for a minute with uh, with Winston over on the island. I want to see if maybe he has anything to say. Well, to answer your question, it's raining a lot. The weather is generally crap, and the breeding program is going great. So I'm gonna get back to it. Uh, bye. Okay, well that's great. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and then just close close this episode up here. Sorry, it's shaky. Sometimes there's things that are out of our control. We have to just persist. We have to move on, move past it, not get mad. Call the power company, screaming at them. Tell them that you were working. So again, as always, I would like to thank everybody who is supporting the channel, viewing these videos. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me in the comments below. You can find me on Steam, you can find me on Twitter, and if you are sneaky, you can find me on Discord. You can send me a message. I'll do my best to respond. If you have any suggestions for how I could do something better, or if you have any requests for anything you would like me to try to do in Herc right now, uh, I will do my best to try to respond and to accommodate. Um, with that, have a great evening, better than mine has been. I'll catch you next time.